Hi and good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the equity market is just a little bit volatile just now. We actually failed to break through potential resistance at 16.401 uh, on uh, Friday, on Monday, and uh, we're kind of slap bang in the middle of the range right now. So the next potential support is at 16.178. That potential resistance, uh, we haven't had a close above there for the last couple of sessions, uh, is at 16.401, is still intact, and there is certainly pressure showing in the global markets today. If we fast forward onto the UK 100 for a second, similar picture, very volatile sessions there on Friday, very volatile session again there today, and we are drifting, uh, grinding lower towards that potential support at 65.19. If we break and close below that, the next potential support uh, is at 64.63. Looking at the Japan 225 for a second, um, you'll be able to see there that very similar picture to the rest of the other um, equity markets. We've tried to push higher, only to push right back down again. That potential support at 14219 will remain strategic for the rest of the session. So looking at dollar yen, dollar yen failed to break above uh, that 102 spot, 90 level we've talked about before. Um, seemingly capped by that 21 period SMA. Um, next potential support is at 101 spot 80. If we jump onto gold for a second, or West Texas crude and will be the next one. Um, very similar picture. Um, you've got a resistance, you've tried to break through in the last two sessions, failure to close, and we're still just below that 100 spot 60 level. So this is the level that traders should be looking at today. Looking at gold, um, you'll be able to see you actually had a really bad day yesterday. I think as uh, some dollar strength returned into the market. Um, so we're now actually below that support at 1332 and the next potential support is at 12.95 but for quite a negative day yesterday uh, and I can see that there has been uh, quite flat markets in some of the FX markets as well overnight. Matter of fact, if we have a look at Euro dollar, Euro dollar had a good day yesterday but then has been completely flat for most of, uh, most of the day. Tried to break up above potential support at 38.63 only to get pushed back down again. We are currently in negative right now. Next potential support is at 37.72. And we finish up with um, GBP USD. It is now comfortably broken, 65.19. Next potential support is at 63.88. We need to close above 65.19 to then rechallenge 67.44. And the technical indicators are getting slightly oversold. You see the RSI and the slow stochastic there are uh, getting quite close to that oversold territory, but there's not yet a signal uh, for a reversal because you've got to be below those levels and then break up back through down here and down here and that's not happened as of yet. So economic data wise, you've got uh, German IFO data, you've got uh, CPI data from the UK, and then later on in the afternoon, you've got CCI in the US. If we fast forward to Wednesday, you've got crude oil inventories as ever at 2.30, and that's pretty much it. And if you keep an eye on the chart form for uh, updates from CMC clients and CMC analysts, and also make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.